Hi, evening friends, evening everybody, bache. evening everybody. I'm Dr. Sushan Soni, MBBS Mamsi, MD Pathology Resident Hemat Oncology, Ames Daily. And let us start with our pathology INI questions. Now, I have about 14 to 15 questions in this session. And every question, I mean, except two, three questions, the questions are very simple and straightforward. So please keep on marking the answers or keep on telling me the answer in the comment box before I commit to the answer. This is the ideal way to do it. Even if you don't commit to the answer, I'm okay with it. But commit to the answer in your mind before I speak it. So let's start. Path and micro, especially after doing it with me, you will be very comfortable. These two are going to be, I mean, suppose say 18, 20 questions come from path and micro combined in INI, you will be right in majority. So don't worry about it. Now, starting with the first question, chromosome 13 was marked with an arrow and you were asked which type of chromosome is it? Now, there are four types of chromosomes, metacentric, submetacentric, telocentric and acrocentric. But a chromosome 13 is extremely special. How, why or how? It is the largest of all chromosomes. It is the largest of all, firstly. And secondly, you are clearly able to see that centromere is towards one side. There is a very short arm and a very large arm which is associated with acrocentric chromosomes. So let's have a look. There are four types of chromosomes. Telocentric chromosomes in which centromere is towards the end. Telocentric, centromere is towards the end, there is just a large arm. Acrocentric, this was what was chromosome 13. Acrocentric, centromere is towards one side, a very small arm and a very large arm. You are able to see that in the karyotyping image also. Acrocentric chromosome. Submetacentric, that is, there is a short arm and a large arm, and metacentric, in which both arms are equal in, they are equal in size. These are the four types of chromosome. Largest of all, chromosome 13, acrocentric chromosome. Next, chromosome 13 is as such also special. It is associated with which tumor suppressor gene? P53 RB? RB gene. It is associated with RB gene. RB gene chromosome 13, 14, remember? 13, Q14. P53, P53 was present on chromosome 17, 17, P13. 17 is a bigger number now, so short arm, 17, P13. As such, P53, mein P is already coming, 17, P13. RB gene, chromosome 13, Q14, RB gene mutations. And next, it is associated with which malignancy? Guys, nobody knows this better than us. Breast cancer. Which familial breast cancer gene? Barca 2. Barca 2 gene mutations present on chromosome 13, Barca 2, versus Barca 1, which is present on chromosome 17. Again, important, an important slide. Next question. A five-year-old boy has bilateral proptosis and you're suspecting a chloroma. What will you do to confirm chloroma? Now, what is chloroma? Chloroma, it is presence of an extramedullary disease, an extramedullary hematological malignancy. Blood cancer, which is outside the bone marrow, which is outside the medulla. Extra medullary blood cancer. There are two main diseases, two main blood cancers which are associated with chloromas. That is what are our DDs, what are our differential diagnosis. It is associated with AML. Which AML? AML M2. And it is also associated with CML. So which is the next investigation that we will perform? A peripheral blood smear. After a peripheral blood smear, if it is a case of AML, we will go for flow cytometry. Whereas, whereas if it is a case of CML, we will go for which translocation is associated with CML? Translocation 922, also called as Philadelphia chromosome, which is confirmed by BCR-ABL mutation analysis. That is BCR-ABL fish. Next question. Now, I need not even read the question. The image itself is so beautiful. A 10-year-old child having multiple cervical lymphadenopathy since past three years. Lymph node is given. So, you already know it is a cervical lymph node. Which, which cell are you able to make out here? It is a binucleate cell. It has two nuclei with prominent nucleoli. In turn, giving it Aulai appearance. Aulai appearance, which it is associated with two diseases. First is Hodgkin's lymphoma. This is the classical RSL. This is the classical RSL, reed Sternberg cell, Hodgkin's lymphoma. And, and, Aulai appearance, it other than Hodgkin's is also associated with cytomegalovirus, CMV pneumonia. 
So Aula appearance. Aula appearance, this was the case of classical Hodgkin's, which is associated with Epsilon bar virus. Next question. A staining based question. We have covered it extensively in our notes repeatedly asked. Answer by Che, oil redo is a stain for fat for frozen section. Fat frozen section. Deekho, we can divide fat into two types fixed versus frozen. For fixed fat, the stain used is Sudan black versus frozen section where the stain is oil red. Oil red. Next, so fit fixed glutaraldehyde, fixed fat, Sudan black, frozen section, oil red. Next, alcohol fixed tissue. Which stain is performed? Pap stain. We use Pepinicola pap stain. What percentage alcohol? 95% alcohol is used for pap stain. And lastly, most commonly used fixative is formaldehyde. What percentage of formalin is used normally? 10% formaldehyde. That is light microscopy versus glutaraldehyde, which is used for electron microscope. These are the remaining points. Oil redo, frozen section, fat. Next question. Next question. Patient presents with low-grade fever for last two weeks with pulmonary congestion, blood streaks, sputum, and weight loss. Along with caseous necrosis. See, examiner gave you everything. He could have stopped the question here also. In India, if a patient is presenting with low-grade fever for two weeks, congestion, blood in sputum and weight loss, our first DD is of course TB. And he, the examiner confirmed the diagnosis of TB by even writing that caseous necrosis is seen. Which, what is the pathology causing such a problem? Caseous necrosis is type 4 hypersensitivity reaction. It is type 4 hypersensitivity and is associated with giant cells. What is the fancy name of giant cell seen in TB? Giant cell is a cell with multiple nuclei. In TB, the multiple nuclei, they are arranged at periphery, giving it a horseshoe-shaped appearance. Langhans giant cells. These are the Langhans. Langhans giant cells seen in TB, horseshoe-shaped appearance. So that's all as well. Next question. In case of breast cancer, fish is indicated. But if we look at three markers for breast cancer, ER, estrogen receptor, progesterone receptor, and HER2 nu. Nu. We like it thoda sa upar. It's a Greek alphabet. Alpha, beta, lambda, delta, nu. HER2 nu or Herceptin receptor, also called as Arb B2. Dekho, there are two breasts now. Arb B2, Herceptin receptor. Fish is performed for her to new 2 plus positivity. This is a fact. Don't overthink on this at all. We look at three immunohistochemistry markers, three IHC markers for breast cancer. I'm sure would have been covered extensively in detail along with the classification and surgery also. You would have covered that breast cancer is of three types ER positive, her to new negative. HER2 new positive and triple negative breast cancer and triple negative. So it is of three types. Most common best prognosis, category one. Least common worst prognosis, category three. Most common familial gene with category three, BRCA1. BRCA1 chromosome 17 versus ER positive HER2 negative associated with BRCA2 chromosome 13. So, recent PYQs only, breast is an important topic, which we saw that with respect to chromosome 13 also, you need to know this. Next question, very, very important, antibody is associated with SLE. The minute anybody talks of anti-nuclear antibody, ANA, SLE. So, let us quickly have a look at antibodies associated, antibodies associated, most common or the most sensitive antibody, most common or most sensitive ANA, anti-nuclear antibody. There is no confusion in this at all. Confusion occurs with most specific, SA specific, SA Smith, most specific being anti-Smith, followed by anti-double standard DNA, followed by anti-DSDNA antibody. Next, drug-induced lupus. Drug induced lupus antihistone antibody. Drug induced lupus antihistone antihistone antibody. 
एंड लास्टली लास्टली न्यूनेटल ल्यूपस लास्टली न्यूनेटल ल्यूपस विद कंजनाइटल हार्ट ब्लॉक न्यूनेटल ल्यूपस विद कंजनाइटल हार्ट ब्लॉक कंजनाइटल हार्ट ब्लॉक बच्चों में हो रहा है इट इज सीन इन चिल्ड्रन वो डू किड्स डू रोला पाते हैं फॉर द हिंदी स्पीकिंग इट इज एसोसिएटेड विद एंटी रो स्लैश एल ए ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज एंटी एस एस ए स्लैश एस एस पी एंटीबॉडीज दीज आर दीबॉडीज एसोसिएटेड विद एस ए मोस्ट कॉमन सेंसिटिव इज एन ए स्पेसिफिक स्मिथ एस फॉर स्पेसिफिक एस फॉर स्मिथ फॉलोड बाई एंटी डबल एंटीबॉडी ड्रग इंड्यूस्ड एंटी हिस्टोन म्यूनेटल ल्यूपस विद कंजनाइटल हार्ट ब्लॉक फ्रेगमेंट ऑफ आई जी जी एफ सी फ्रेगमेंट ऑफ आई जी जी इम्यूनोग्लोबलिन जी सी आर पी सी रियक्टिव प्रोटीन सी आर पी एंड फिब्रिनोजन दीज आर दिनाइजेशन एजेंट्स वर्सेस वर्सेस कीमोटैक्टिक एजेंट्स विच कॉम्प्लीमेंट प्रोटीन बच्चे वट एवर वी विल डू इन लाइफ यू विल नॉट गो रॉन्ग इन ऑप्शनाइजेशन वर्सेज कीमोटैक्टिक एजेंट्स विच आर द कीमोटैक्टिक एजेंट्स सी थ्री ए थ्री बी फाइव ए फाइव बी सी फाइव ए C3B is an opsonization agent. C5A is a chemotactic agent. C5A, interleukin one, interleukin eight, TNF alpha, tumor necrosis factor alpha, and leukotriene B4. Out of these, most potent chemotactic agent being leukotriene B4, LTB4. Complement factor which is most potent chemotactic is C5. First class. Next question. Next question. Again, extremely factual. Abnormal folding of proteins is associated with. The minute I see this, I know that abnormal folding of proteins is associated with prion diseases. Let's suppose you never knew that. We were not aware of it. But just sickle cell anemia is a point mutation. It is a point mutation. Nephritic syndrome is a whole range of diseases. Schiedlich-Gaussian syndrome occurs because of mutations in list protein. So remember defect in phago lysosome formation due to mutations in list protein it is not abnormal folding abnormal folding is crossfield jacob disease it is a prion disease there are four main prion diseases so these are abnormal forms of cellular proteins prions what is the abnormal form in prions the normal alpha helix the normal alpha helix changes to abnormal beta pleated sheets it changes to changes to abnormal beta pleated sheets normal alpha helix changes to beta pleated it is an abnormal protein there are four main diseases associated which are crossfield jacob disease gerstmann strossler schenker syndrome fatal familial insomnia and crohn disease just read this once most common prior most common being crossfield jacob disease others are i'll just speak them again gerstmann strossler schenker syndrome fatal familial insomnia and crohn's just just see this table you will not do this anywhere else and no more details required also but just the four diseases which are the abnormal protein folding diseases next question herpes associated with gingival stomatitis easy above the waist is hsv1 below the waist is hsv2 simple happy simplex virus hsv1 gingival stomatitis so infections with hsv1 infections with hsv1 gingival stomatitis where where the most common recurrent lesion is herpes labialis keratoconjunctivitis conjunctivitis eczema and ocular involvement above the waist herpes 2 is below the waist that is genital herpes penis urethra cervix vulva vagina neonatal herpes that is why cesarean section is performed in cases of hsv2 we generally delivery nahi karte na cesarean section to prevent neonatal herpes and aseptic meningitis herpes so gingival stomatitis herpes hsv1 hsv1 simple lastly syndrome x true is what is syndrome x it has nothing to do with mutations in x chromosome not at all but it is pre diabetes seen in obese adults 
it is associated with or it is seen in obese adults that is it is associated with insulin resistance hyperinsulinemia dyslipidemia hypertension obesity glucose intolerance and increased serious risk so all these points are the same insulin resistance which in turn leads to dyslipidemia bad cholesterols ldl vldl are increased hdl is reduced abdominal obesity glucose intolerance and increased risk of serious events this is syndromics this is syndromics so let's have a look at one more granular leukocytes are dekho i can divide wbcs or leukocytes into two types granular versus a granular leukocytes granular versus a granular leukocytes lymphocyte lymphocyte is a a granular leukocyte it does not have granules it's a granular so lymphocytes are a granular lymphocytes are a granular it's not monocyte only monocytes are granular but so are the other cells eosinophils basophils and neutrophils so all the other cells that is neutrophils eosinophils basophils and monocytes all the other cells are granular in nature all the other are perfect so bachche this takes care of your pathology i and i discussion i am sure that even you would have found the questions simple straightforward in case of any doubts you can contact us on telegram or you can write it below on the youtube video and we'll take care of this because needless to say bachche we are in this together thank you thank you and take care